Welcome back. In this video, let's take a look at the last queue in the event loop, which is the close queue. And to understand about the close queue, we're going to run our 14th and final experiment in this section on learning about the event loop in Node.js. Once again, to save us some time, I'm going to copy paste the code. Let me walk you through the code. First, we import the FS module. Next, we create a readable stream using fs.createReadStream. In the next line, we close the stream using the close method. Next, we listen to the close event, which is emitted when the stream is closed. This is emitted as a result of the previous line. To the close event, we attach a listener. This is a callback function which logs this is from readable stream close event callback. You may have guessed it already, but this is how we queue a callback function into the close queue by adding listeners to close events. Next, we have a few familiar methods. We have a call to set immediate, followed by set timeout, followed by promise.resolve, and finally process.nextStick. I want you to now pause the video and try figure out the output. If I run node index, we see the order of execution. First, next tick. Second, promise.resolve. Third, set timeout. Fourth, set immediate. And finally, close event callback. From this, we can infer close queue callbacks are executed after all other queues callbacks in a given iteration of the event loop. Let's visualize the execution. When the call stack executes all statements, we end up with one callback in each queue except the IO queue. When there is no further code to execute, control enters the event loop. First, callback in the next tick queue is dequeued and executed. Next, Callback in the promise queue is dequeued and executed. That is followed by the timer queue callback. Next, event loop moves on to the check queue. Callback is dequeued and executed. Finally, control moves on to the close queue. The final callback is dequeued and executed. Really simple if you have watched the previous few videos about the event loop. All right. If all the 14 different experiments and their corresponding inferences are now clear, let's conclude with the following points about the event loop. The event loop is a C program that orchestrates or coordinates the execution of synchronous and asynchronous code in Node.js. It coordinates the execution of callbacks in six different queues. They are next tick, promise, timer, IO, check and close queues. We use process.nextTick method to queue into the next tick queue. We resolve or reject a promise to queue into the promise queue. We use set timeout or set interval to queue into the timer queue. Execute an async method to queue into the IO queue. Use set immediate function to queue into the check queue. And finally, attach close event listeners to queue into the close queue. The order of execution follows the same order listed here with an additional point that next tick and promise queues are executed in between each queue and also in between each callback execution in the timer and check queues. With that, we come to the end of this section on understanding the internals of how async code is executed in Node.js. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.